<laughs> you are losing sight of the bigger picture. And I'm here to make things straight once more. She's refused to accept any girl that I've indicated interest in. Friend, she sees every girl I, I bring around as a potential fraster. Oh, go dagger. How could she? I don't know if I'm doing the right thing getting you involved into all this. For as long as it's within my powers, I'll, I'll, I'll get it done. What would you say if I give you a huge sum of money to stay away from my son? So you want to marry my son and all his money? Since you cannot place a price on what your love for him is worth? Or should I call you a gold digger? Would that make you understand where I am driving at? I beg your pardon, your majesty. You have it. Is he still really planning on marrying Emma? How could you say that to Emma? How could you call her a gold digger? It's not ethical. I wouldn't just sit and watch someone get married to you because she wants to use you as a means of her financial security. Are you playing blind over the love I share with Emma? Man, she loves me. I love her genuinely. We love each other. Emma, on my mind. I have made up my mind. Emma, alone. My heart beats for her. There's only one thing that comes to mind. That is, you found a better deal in that family. And now you want to have everything all for yourself. Drop me by the roadside. But you think I'm stupid? It's never going to work. I will make sure it never works. Please allow me to marry him. That means you don't know me. You don't know me well enough to know that I can do anything to anyone with no regrets. We're supposed to get 20 million naira from his mother. Get me 10 million now, and we have a deal. Let's I I don't have that kind of money. Then we have nothing to discuss. Get out! Teta, my brother, how are you? 20 million? 20 million naira is what my love is worth?